Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope your weekend was well. It was okay for me because I already saw the Steelers get their shenaniganry out of the way Thursday night. And I'm not much more needs to be said. However, a lot needs to be said about what is coming up now because this has been sitting around for quite a while. We have us a little blaster of the new, well, the 2023, uh, what actually is it called? I think it's just... I think it's just top Star Wars. Um, I know a surfer ripped open a bunch of this stuff in the past. It is awesome looking. I love, there's some really, really cool looking die cuts in there. And I cannot wait to see it. Plus, we need to get us some Darth Vader because Darth Vader. Look for rare autographs and inserts. I will do that. Collect all 100 base cards, ba da ba da ba rainbow foil, one and two packs, green foil, red foil, ya da da Ooh, epic clashes, lightsaber stylings, cosmic covers. This is going to be awesome. Ten packs, seven per, which means we've got 70 cards worth of goodness empty in the, into the bin you go. That over there is my recycle bin. I put all the stuff in there and then... Sift through it later. I may not need these. I had some bad luck with the rugby. Nope, Star Wars opens nice and easy. So into pack one. Let's get in and see what we got. And it looks like, okay, this is going to be all the different series, and I know not many of them. Cal Kestis from Fallen Order. Well, we have something back there. The Tuscan Warrior. Mm, how you doing, fella? Perrin Firtha. Uh... Does it say who played them? No, because these are going to be potential, as we know with me, TTM fuel. Deborah Miro. It's Grogu. Shout out a surfer. Uh, I pointed like, because that's where Stick of Gum would usually sit. But I wonder if he has that. Let me know if you have. Ooh, what are you? We got the Star Wars cover art. Those are nice looking. And then here we've got, ooh, what are you? Uh, we got, we got Jedha. What are you? Midrim Territories. Uh, IG. I'm not sure what IG is, but beautiful looking, beautiful looking scenery. Pack number two, and we're off to a good start. We got Grogu. We got a cover card. We got this little guy who uh, I, I still firmly believe was invented purely as a cash grab for the merch. Little BB-8. The Twilight server. How you doing? There we go. Luke Skywalker. You go up top. Paz Vizsla. Oop, we got a backwards something. Why are you backwards? You know, I, I think I see one of the die cuts. Epic Clashes. Wow, that is not only an Epic Clash. That is the Epic Clash. Luke versus Darth. Hit of the box right now. Although, here's the die cuts, and they look great. And even better, Count Dooku. Rest in peace, Sir Christopher Lee. Uh, there was something backwards. So we'll just flip. Ooh, okay. So we got a rainbow foil and a gold foil. The Tuscan Chief and BB-8. All right. Okay, so they said that the rainbow foils were one in two packs. So I've hit the odds so far. We got, oh, God. Bo Katan cries, Crees, Jib Dodger, Mandalorian. God, I I'm so far removed from the Mandalorian. Dio, Ronnie James, Tala Durith. Lead us the backwards. Tetha, ooh, numbered. Let's go. Tetha Grig, numbered out of seventy-five. Why does she look shockingly familiar? Oh, wait, is that the actress or the actor that is in, if anybody's seen it, A Murder at the End of the World? Looks very familiar, and if so, I apologize because I uh, understand that they go by they, them. Um, is that them? I, I'm going to have to look. I, I, I am going to have to look. I'll, I'll be back at the end of the video and let you know. Ooh, Star Killer Base. Great shot. And another epic clash, Obi-Wan versus General Grievous. It's a good epic clash, but that's the epic clash of the galaxy. Luke versus Darth. It's a 
such a great title to Darth. All right. The Tuscan Chief. We've been getting a lot of the Tuscans. Vecno Crew. Is that Flea? I actually don't know. It looks like Flea. Ah, Salacious B. Crumb. Legend. Cad Bane. Love the look of him. We get us the backwards. We got us a rainbow foil of D.O. Did we have... Oh, no, it was BB-8. We got Poe and Dameron. Poe Dameron, what are you? Uh, another of the cover arts. I like the design on these. Another of these sweet-looking die cuts of the Grand Inquisitor. Again, beautiful title. And a gold foil of Sebulba. Was he in the pod racing thing? Phantom Menace. Yes, I believe so. It's been a long time since I've seen the movies as well. But that's what we do. We, yep, okay. Hit of the box. Darth Vader. I have one. Hey, right behind him, R2. Uh, Garza Whip. Haven't seen the book of Boba Fett. The second, second sister. Well, how many were there? I actually, were there five? If I remember the lore. The armorer. Oh, that is such a cool shot. Bespin, that is a really cool shot. And another cover art with Luke and R2. Love the cover arts. Halfway through the box, I think. In we go. I saw another die cut on the back, and I love them. Ooh, one of the animated ones. Who do we get here? Niku Vozo. Resistance. I have not seen that series. Tam Rivora, and it's going to remind me of such. Moff Gideon. I'm a big fan of this guy. I can never remember his name, though, because I'm terrible with names. But I do like him. I wonder if he TTMs. Oh, how was it pronounced? Quill? I honest, I, I watched The Mandalorian. I cannot remember how that name was pronounced. We got us a rainbow foil of Jib Dodger. Epic Clashes, Obi-Wan versus Anakin. There we go. Uh, still not big yet. We got the die cut of Luke Skywalker. We're getting all the big ones. But now, I don't know, was there relics in there? Some sort of autograph would be awesome. But we already got a numbered one, so let's go. Karis Nemec. Mon, Mon Mothma. Wow, I, I completely read that as Mothra. And I'm not apologizing for that. Cassian Andor. Princess Leia. We're getting all the OGs. C-3PO. Another cover art. God, these are so nice looking. These are really, really funky looking. And Corellia. I love the cityscapes. I guess maybe cityscape? No, IG. I don't know, but it's a cityscape type of photo. I thought you felt thick, but you do not. And we're getting all the OGs. Emperor Palpatine, a.k.a. Bill Belichick. Here's Tetha Grigg again. We got the numbered one of her. Fennec Shand. Owen Lars. We got here Rainbow Foil, Bo Katan Kreez, Cries, Epic Clashes, Yoda versus Count Dooku. That's a good one. And uh, Kiati Mundi. Kiati Mundi. Okay, Waste Windu did. You know, I am just completely out of my lore. Two packs left, the penultimate pack. We're hitting all the big names. Got us a numbered card. Can't ever go wrong with a numbered card. Tora Doza. Lieutenant Reed, how you doing, fella? Magistrate Morgan Elsbeth, that is a heck of a title. You'd think you'd get tired of saying of saying magistrate in front of everything. Like Grand Inquisitor, it's long but it flows. Magistrate's kind of a sharp word. Sinta Kaz, Sabalba, we saw him before. Naboo, oh, why do I not remember any of the planet's names? Epic Clashes, Luke versus Darth. It's a different Luke versus Darth. My God, we're getting everything. And we got us a gold of Sinta Kaz. Racking up the foils, racking up the die cuts. Got some legendary Epic Clashes. And one pack left. And then I'm going to double check on that right quick because she, that actor looks way, way, way too familiar. It's one of those, they look too much like them to not be them. Moving on, Major Partagaz, Chewie, my god, I think we have the entire cast. Uh, 
cooler than the other side of the pillow, Lando Calrissian. Toro Calican. It's a foil, most likely. Yep. Figured that out. Rainbow of Paz Vizsla. Oh, that's nice. The cover art of Darth Maul. That is a great looking one. And a die cut Darth Vader to end it off. This may have been the greatest OG. I think the only one we didn't actually get was Yoda and um, Han Solo, but we got pretty much everybody else. Yeah, we got Luke, Darth. Couple of Darths, Lando, Chewie, Emperor Palpatine, R2, C3PO, Princess Leia. Yeah, the only ones we're missing really are um Yeah, Yoda and but we did get Grogu, which is good. So a surfer, if you need Grogu, let me know. But pause real quick. Where is the numbered card in question? Uh ah, there it is. All right. Hang on, I'm going to sleeve this up, come back, and then I'm going to confirm my thoughts on who this actor is and uh, figure out just what uh, kind of a, uh, what finish that is out of 75. So be right back. Okay, I have returned. Um, so, number one, not the actor who I was thinking of. Actor, actress, I can't remember if if the term actress is actually gone. Anyway, it just looks like who I was thinking of the the actor in a murder at the end of the world. This actually, as I found out is Ewan McGregor's daughter. Um, so I was incorrect there. And where was that? I also noticed where did it go? Where did it go? Where in the world? At least I got one, right? Because I did not know it because I have not seen Obi-Wan Kenobi, but yes, that is flea. So, that's pretty cool. So we got us a flea card. And uh, on this one, the numbered out of 75, this is, um, oh, God, I literally just looked at it and I forgot it. Oh, this was uh, the black. And the odds of these are 1 in 176 packs. We had 10. So that is odds absolutely destroyed. Yeah, I like this. I really, 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 really like this. This is cool stuff, and we got all the, the old-school Star Wars that I'm more familiar with than anything else, and some just great-looking cards. I love the die cuts, and the fact that it's Darth Vader just makes it all the better. That's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We will see you next time, everyone.